was over crypto muscle coming to you in another YouTube video. Here we are, Aaron Ashley, Renown, Worldwide, Think his words at Crypto Muscle and then Crypto Muscle Network coming to you in another video. Alright, let's talk about it, alright? Um I just wanted to continue to remind you guys uh, every episode this week that uh, I am on vacation, but I didn't want to go on vacation empty handed. Uh, just because I'm on vacation doesn't mean I am on vacation uh, on YouTube. So that's why I left content on the daily. And so you'll be still be seeing content on the daily um, just in the form of uh talk content you know just something that you know fulfill the space full of information whether it's about history life crypto just everything about it, what i do you know how i got started things like that you know and so anyhow i wanted to uh carry on with another episode here of uh continuing what i've already started so in my last video I talked about Cash effects and starting on YouTube um, as the timing of both just kind of coin, you know, collided. And um, the timing was something I needed. I needed a, you know, I wanted to uh, create something because I was tired of the bullshit on YouTube that I've been seeing for crypto. And I wanted to be something different, out of the box, and just being who I am. I mean, what you see now as me is and was who I always have been. And it is my real life persona, like how I act it is how I am in real life too. You know, telling it like it is. I mean, there's lots of other things about me that um, you may not know. For example, I'm a really... A uh, calm, cool, collected individual uh, as a person, you know, so when I'm in situations, let's just say, I kind of handle things in a calm, cool, collected sort of way. And that's how I've always been about things in life. But yeah, so uh, maybe, maybe we'll talk about that, you know, me as an individual. But yeah, uh, my persona on YouTube is not much different than I am in real life, right? Uh, other parts of me, uh, well, we'll just talk about all this stuff anyways. Um, you know, I pump iron, right? I work, um, all those things. Everything that I am about me is really me, right? Uh, it's just funny. The only thing I really don't do is show my face on it. You do see a face there. <laughs> but uh yeah well, that's how um i've used this picture for a very long time now too uh which is pretty funny um i don't know uh i i've uh was gonna i have a backup name i was gonna roll with but because i really liked and still do <laughs> Pumping iron and all that, you know, lifting weights, hitting the weight room almost daily. Uh, and I like crypto a lot. That's why I was Crypto Muscle, you know. And it was just kind of a somewhat unique name in the space. Um, I'm trying to think if I had any other ones I would have rolled with. There was one name I, I was contemplating rolling with, but I just never pulled it off. I won't tell you that name because I don't want someone using it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, and then, and there were times I contemplated a name change too. But I'm afraid that, you know, something that I've achieved and, you know, came with a following with that, you know, I would have to reestablish myself and, and rebuild everything once again, you know. And, it, and it's hard. This, you know, this this is not easy to build up a channel you know let alone two channels all right and that's another video uh that i'll talk about so like i said when i first came on youtube this is my second channel actually right here the network um 
I actually started Crypto Muscle OG here. It was just called it was, it was just called Crypto Muscle. All right. OG I added later on when I got this channel back, and that's a, another story too. But yeah, so this is what I started with, right? And man, you know, at that time doing cash effects videos and all that too, it, it was just a recipe of just just great timing, right? Because um, you know, I'm trying to start out, uh, cash effects just started as well. And people were reeling, reeling off of losing, you know, in general. So like me, I lost altogether about $13,000. I made a little bit back in, uh, arbitraging and, um, uh, kind of with Nova chain, uh, kind of with Moonberg. Uh, I didn't make money out of arbitraging though, um, but I didn't make enough to be satisfied, right? So cash of X was the thing for me, you know, at the time. And yeah, the timing of cash of X was couldn't have come at the right time. Bitcoin in, Bitcoin out. Uh, I needed something to kind of just get me back you know, on the right side of things again. So, uh, I started out with a 500 bucks, right? And then quickly went to a thousand dollars in cash effects. And they have like two sides of things, right? You have the passive side and then the active side. So if you're active, you do have the possibility of, of achieving four times what you put into it. But there's a lot of different things you got to do on the active side in order to achieve it. But if you can't hit those kickers, that's fine. You can still double what you put in to it, right? So as I continue to make progress, you know, a thousand went to, you know, progressive uh, deposits, right? I think it went to uh, the next layer up. I think the next one up was like. I want to say 2,500, then 5,000, 5,000 went to 10,000, 10,000 went, there was no gaps before, right? It was wide gaps. So 10,000 went to 20 and then they started to make gap, um, gap packages. So you could kind of just level up easier. So I got to the point where I you know, for at towards the end, not in the cash, but a couple years into it, I ended up going up to 30,000 as my deposit in cash of X. And again, it's just because the timing, the platform, YouTube, all that together got me there. And from there, I started to earn some, you know, pretty good crypto out of it. Got me out of this hole I was in because I started to, to um, you know, make money, made my money back from my losses, and then even more. So that was cool, right? Um, I couldn't believe it, you know. As time went on throughout Cash of X going into 2020, now I right, want to go back a little bit because I kind of got ahead with how I made my money now. Um, so going into 2020. Uh, the timing of 2020, right? We all know what happened, uh, pandemic, COVID, all that stuff. So March, 2020 comes, uh, now we're about, cause, uh, cause cash of X, they did a pre-launch in, uh, July of 2019. Then they did a full launch in November, 2019, where they did a full global launch. The next thing you know, March, 2020. There was lots of hints of happening, right, in 2020, of uh, things happening, right? Pandemic was starting to happen towards the end of 2019, going into 2020. The next thing you know, they really went after everything. They shut down everything, stores, gyms, restaurants, all kinds of stuff in March 2020. And then they left it to where only, even schools, they shut down schools, everything. Only essential businesses can stay open and essential jobs can still maintain employment. Luckily for me, my employment is essential, right? 
Um, but at the same time, as I was kind of doing crypto, you know, uh, as as my gig. But when the pandemic started shutting down gyms, I had nothing else to do but immerse myself further into crypto. So, you know, because now I have no access to equipment because was, the gyms are closed. All I could do was just work, my job, and crypto. So I got immersed in crypto even more, right? And man, all, all I got to say is the pandemic, all right, I capitalized off of the pandemic and content creation became even bigger for me because I seriously, seriously, seriously made money off doing this with coinciding with cash effects. And that's what, you know, led me to rise. I mean, I rose big time in terms of all that, um, you know, on YouTube and everything else. And, uh, yeah, man, it was just crazy running in circles in the same circles with, uh, some of the notable YouTubers out there. And then at, later on in 2020, um, it was like early 2019, not early 20, I'm sorry. Uh, or it was around 2020, late 2019, 2020 cross paths with the legendary Oracle. <laughs> Who would have thought that me and the Oracle would cross paths? You know what I mean? Like, I started out just being a guy watching YouTube to to um, start my own content creation and watching the Oracle. And who would have thought that I would actually cross paths and hey, you know, become a good you know a friend in the space with the legendary Oracle? I mean, um, it's crazy how that was achieved. I mean, and it got to the point where our friendship blossomed and we even did a, a, a cross crossover content, kind of like a conversation interview video together later on that year. And so it, it was, it's been great. You know, it's been great. It's been a great friend in the space um, from, from then on. All right. Always, you know, looking out, you know, always shooting out advice, always looking out for me. And so um, all that stuff, right? And I learned a lot from watching his earlier videos to watching his videos now. Because now he's more into trading and really not into platforms anymore. Uh, but man, when he was in platforms, he always maximized platforms to the fullest and made a shit ton of money, man. And that's why when you know a program's out there and Oracle's on it, talking about it, in it, <laughs> then you know that platform is going to succeed big time. It's got, it, it was at the point where, where people, and I mean, platforms were asking, hey, they were asking me, you know, hey, are you in touch with the Oracle? Can you talk to him about this? And I'm like, I can, but I can't guarantee nothing. All I can do is just really, I mean, I can tell him, but he's the only, he is his own person. And more times than not, it's going to be a no, all right, if anything. But, I mean, I can, all right. And so that was kind of like a thing to where, uh, you know, I wasn't going to bother Oracle because I know how Oracle is when it comes to, you know, people asking me, hey, can you get Oracle this? Can you get to Oracle? And it's like, I know how Oracle is. He doesn't like to be bothered with that stuff. All right. Um, he's successfully running, you know, consultations trading on the lever style there there's um you know a lot that he's doing right now uh in terms of that sort of thing but yeah so going back to platforms uh i learned a great deal during that time cash effects 
the Oracle, all that stuff, right? And became great friends in the space. And we just continued to take off. You know, we went into other platforms, made some serious money. Cuba Life, to name you know, to name one, we made we made some pretty good money with Cuba Life. Um, uh, what else is there? I mean, there were several platforms. We just continued on, and it just went on and on. Every year, it seemed like there was that one platform, legacy platform, that we could make money, big money on, right? With with a few hypes on the side, uh, to just kind of complement it as like the wings to it, right? Uh, man, it was so good in those days of um, of this decade, right? Because now it's 2024. Um, you know, 2020 uh, was great. 2020 pandemic year was a great year <laughs> in terms of crypto. That is, yeah, shutdowns in life. I, I didn't have access to gym equipment for six months. No, I'm sorry, not six months. For three months. Because it wasn't until about June, almost July, all right, of 2020 when I finally was able to get access to gym equipment. Um, I was able to finally buy like a squat rack, a you know, a full set of weights, 1,000 pounds of weight. And got my own equipment, started lifting at home. Um... Man, it was expensive too because it was so hard to find that I, I was paying, believe it or not, I paid triple the price for my weights. <laughs> Thousand pounds of weight, I paid triple the price because that was the only thing available and I was desperate <laughs> to lift again. Squat rack, I got a good deal on. Uh, bench, all the stuff I needed, additional equipment, I got good deals on those. It was just notably the weights, the free weights I bought. Uh, about a thousand pounds, like I said, and you know, when you look at the prices now compared to back then, yeah, I paid triple the price, you know, and I'm just, and I know that these some some people and businesses and all that are were trying to you know take advantage of the situation with with everything in life, and um, you know, it just. One of those things, though, and I was like, well, I need my equipment. I don't care. I'll buy it. So that's what I ended up doing, buying that equipment. So, um, but yeah, aside from that, man, pandemic year in crypto was, oh, one of the greatest years. The next, you know, 2020, 2021, great years in crypto. All right. Because, man, we were just booming. All right. Making it, taking it. It was, I mean, it was, it was so good. And uh, then, <laughs> but as 2021 rolled around, right, uh, I think it was like June of 2021, maybe even July, um, my, this original channel got taken down, the OG, um, complaining, the biggest complaint was, um, it says spam, and I'm like, spam? But there wasn't really like no further explanation, right? So it was taken down. There wasn't any sort of uh, way of recourse. I was trying to get it back. Uh, I tried and and I was kind of left in limbo, right? Um, and while in that that was happening, I was like, well, I can't wait for this to come back while I'm in limbo. So I recreated a new channel and started from scratch, literally the same day, which was in the form of now the Crypto Muscle Network. All right. And so uh, with that, I'm going to end it with that. All right. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll continue on the story here of the rise of Crypto Muscle Network. All right. So uh, with that, I just want to say thanks for tuning in. I hope you're liking these stories and everything I'm telling. But it is about being real and how, you know, I came to be, right? Um, other than that, let me know what you think, though. Uh, but I got a lot to talk about to cover this week when it comes to uh, vacation time and all that. And then we'll get back to business come, uh, you know, when I come back. So other than that, thanks. And we'll continue the story. I'll see you in the next one.